Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped and turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how the exercise called Pilates came to be. Joseph Pilates, who was born in 1883, was a sickly child. He had asthma and other ailments, often turning to athletics to improve his health. He liked the Greek ideal of a man with a balanced mind, body, and spirit. Thus he began developing his own exercises intended to strengthen the body and mind. Once Pilates became popular in the German dance community, Joe emigrated to America where he and his wife opened a fitness studio in New York. From there, Pilates only spread. <laughs> but this little <coughs> wet press knuckle doesn't know anything about the art of Pilates. If he did, he wouldn't be so stressed and out of shape. But that's what me and my grandkids are of. Grand ghosts. Wake up! Ah! Hello, Jerry. What's your name? How did you get in my house? Don't worry about it. I am the ghost of Pilates past, and I'm going to introduce you to my grand ghosts. They will demonstrate the six Pilates principles to you. What? You are under immense pressure from school, correct? I guess. And you wish you had a way to relax and exercise, yes? Yeah. Well, I have a solution for you. It's called Pilates, and it's connected and it connects the mind and body, increases your brain power and energy, and helps you develop better posture. That sounds nice. It is. Now listen as my grand ghosts tell you all about it. But I'm tired. I have school tomorrow. On your feet, soldier. Fifty Russian twists now. Do you feel the burn? I guess? Are you controlling each and every muscle in your body? No body part can be left to its own devices. Be conscious and deliberate. How does it feel now? Horrible. What was that? I mean, fantastic! <laughs> Do you want increased muscle strength and tone without building bulk? Yeah? Good, because that is just one of the many benefits of regularly engaging in Pilates. And don't you forget it. Yes, sir! Bro, what's up? Who was that guy? The ghost of control, dude. Yeah, he can be a little intense, but it's all good. I'm the ghost of flow. What, what's that? You got under you there. Oh, that's my surfboard. It looks like a hoverboard. Just go with it, man. Why are you here? I'm here to tell you about the Pilates principle called flow. It states that keeping your transitions is continuous, elegant, and smooth improves strength and stamina. The exercises should connect the body and flow it evenly, bruh. I know, right? Anyway, keep chilling, my dude. Right on.
Here, lay it down here. Now lift your legs, keep them back and forth, like scissors, focus on your core. Possibly bring your attention to your power house. This will calm both the mind and the body. Let me go to calm right now. Focus all your power and devour from your core. Do you feel it? Hurt? I feel it. Hey, you back. Hey, your back will thank you. A stronger core makes for a stronger back. This is just one of many benefits of regularly practicing Pilates. Another is a tone abs increase flexibility and less to Wow, really? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, thanks. Um, um, why aren't you too funky? Oh wait, you're supposed to be teaching me a Pilates lesson, right? Are you trying to tell me that breathing is necessary and that it awakens the cells and activates blood circulation and it keeps your muscles going when you're exercising? Nice. Give me five. Thanks, ghosts. Anytime.